Welcome back to Quick Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to create a face cam on your video in both Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. And I'm also going to show you how to easily create the corresponding art to give your videos a nice little twist. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. I'm first going to show you how to do this in Premiere. First, import your face cam sequence and the sequence of video that you want that face cam to be on top of. In this case, it's going to be a screen recording. I'm going to label my face cam with the color of blue and my screen recording with the color of yellow. What I first recommend you do now is sync up these audio tracks. And then you have to make sure that the sequence where you want the face cam to be on top of is under the sequence that you have your face cam on. Right now, since this is above it, all you can see is the face cam. But if I move this blue sequence up on top, now all you can see is the full screen webcam. In order to get the desired effect, you have to go into your effect controls panel. And then where you see opacity, click on this square. And that's going to apply what's called an opacity mask to the video feed. And then all you have to do to manipulate this mask is first of all, just drag it around in your program monitor, just using your mouse to about the corner of where your head is. And then holding down the shift key on your keyboard, click on these two little dots on one side of the video feed. And then using the arrow keys on your keyboard, press the key to the corresponding side that you selected. You only want to do this one side at a time because of the way masks work in Premiere. It is kind of weird. So right now I'm doing the right side, so I'm pressing the right arrow key and just move it until it is at the desired position or until really you can see most of your face. So now deselect one of the corners of that side that you're moving and then select another corner of that side. And then using another arrow key on the keyboard, in this case, since I have the down side selected on the video, I'm going to use that down arrow key. Just hold that down and move it until again, it is at the desired position. And then how I always like to move around and transform this layer now is to select the scale button under the motion tab in Premiere. Using the mouse again in the program monitor, grab on one of these corners and now you can transform that down and move it to the desired side of the screen. If you're not satisfied with the way this mask is created, you can change some options here like the feather, which is the softness of the mask. The more feather there is, the more opaque it is around the sides. The less feather there is, the sharper it is. And you can also change the mask expansion if you want to have it be more of a circle instead of a square. Now what you might want to do with this is create an overlay so that you can incorporate your channel art into your video and make it so that it is not as sharp of effect when you have that face cam. The easiest way to do that is to use Photoshop. Just create a new Photoshop file and make sure the width and height are set to your camera's recording resolution. And then for the background contents, make sure you have that selected as transparent. And then what I always do here is just use the rectangle shape creation tool in Photoshop and make it whatever shape I want. Now, if you're not going to be cropping your video feed and you're just going to be making that smaller, then you wanna use a 16 by nine aspect ratio image. What I always find easy to do is just search up a 16 by nine template on Google images and import that in. But since since I am going to be cropping mine, I'm going to make this into about the square that I want. Move this right into the position where the face cam will be. And then using the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to go and create an indent inside here where my face is going to pop through. Rasterize the shape layer, press delete. And then I'm going to apply a few layer effects just to make this look a bit more interesting. So I'm going to apply a bit of a bevel here, do a drop shadow, both outside and inside, just to add some depth. And then I'm going to apply a gradient overlay and just modify this so that it looks like my channel colors. And I think I'm going to change this drop shadow so it's a bit sharper. Then once you're satisfied with that, just go and export your Premiere file and make sure you are saving it in the format of a PNG with transparency enabled, and then click on export. I'll save this to my desktop as face cam. And then inside of Premiere, you're going to have to import that face cam PNG that you created and then make sure that it is over your face cam video feed. Since this is only seven seconds when you import it, you'll have to drag this across your entire video feed. And I recommend you do this before you edit the video. And I'm going to scale this up so that it looks like about the same size as my face cam. And you might wanna change the scaling of this face cam, maybe even change the mask that you did a bit just to make that look 
look a bit better. And just remember, if you do want to change the scale of your face cam, you're going to have to change that scale for both the overlay here, and you'll also have to change that scale for the face cam. As you can see, this did add some depth to this image, and it looks a lot more natural, and it looks a lot more in the theme of my channel. So if you are a user of DaVinci Resolve, this process is incredibly similar, so I'm not going to go into detail how to change all of your layers in the sequence to make sure that everything works. I'm just going to show you how it is specifically different in Resolve. So I have already imported and organized all of my footage. Now I'm going to go into the inspector element and I'm going to double click on the cropping section. And then it's incredibly easy to do here. All you have to do is change the sliders for the crop left, right, top, and bottom. So as you can see, when I move that slider, the face cam crops to the left. If I move the crop right a bit, I can get it right to where I want it. And I'll crop a bit from the bottom and crop a bit from the top. Now, if you want to add softness to this, you can change the softness filter. If I move that down, this actually makes it so that you can crop it in. So I'm going to leave this softness at zero. And now I'm going to change the scale of this. You can either do that in the transform section where you see the zoom and the position, or you can select this button and then just change the physical scale again using the mouse. And if you want to use an overlay template, you can create that in Photoshop and move this on. And it's the same philosophy here. Make sure to move this across your entire sequence. Make sure it is still on top. Once you have that selected, you can change the scale of that and then go back to your original webcam. I'm going to decrease the cropping a bit to where it is inside of this image. Decrease the cropping there. I'm going to scale it down just a bit. If you try to change the size of this, you're also going to have to change the size of this. As you can see, it does have a lot of depth and it does have that drop shadow applied since it was a transparent image. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye.